Hello everyone, my name is CCG88 and welcome to episode 47 of the refurbished Logo Evolution series. Today we're going through the oldest film company in Italy. I am talking about Titanos. They were founded back in 1904 as Lombardo Film. It was named after its founder, Gustavo Lombardo. They didn't become Titanos until 1928. Until the early 60s, Titanos was a great name in the Italian film industry, producing and distributing several films every year. In the late 50s though, Titanos saw a face of crisis. As such, they shut down all production operations in 1964 and they didn't reopen until the early 1980s. They still distributed films in Italy between 1964 and the 80s though. When the production doors were unlocked, Titanos was making films on a smaller scale to keep production costs steady. They still do this today. They now work more for the television market, but they still produce a film here and there. The CLG wiki page for Titanos is far from completion, but that's purely because no one on there has bothered to look into their history. As you can tell from my logo finds recently, I looked into Titanos quite deeply. We're beginning with this today. I've called it the Titanos Shield. I know it's from the mid to late 1930s, but I don't know a full date. I'm assuming Titanos collaborated with a company called Odit, or O-D-I-T, to make a couple of films. That seems to be the case as the print logo of it can be seen on some posters for films like Crazy Animals from 1939. The film can be found online, but the opening credits are cut, so you don't see the Odit Titanos logo. Apparently, it was also seen in a movie called The Man Who Saw the Future from 1935, but I couldn't find that movie online. You can buy it on DVD though. Considering that the background for the opening credits on Crazy Animals is the same as the Oda Titanos logo, I'm assuming the shield is still and just fades in like the rest of the opening credits. The first logo from Titanos that's on the CRG wiki is this one. It has the name Titanos Shield 2 and it was used from the 1940s to the 1950s. I think it was used until 1953. <laughs> I have two variants. The shield looks a little different, but they're somewhat similar. The La Presenta text is in a different font. much to say about this logo, I will say that I haven't seen it in the 40s, the earliest I've seen it is 1950. It was quickly replaced with their longest used logo, the Titanos Shield 3. The CRG wiki says it was first seen in 1955, but the earliest I have for it is 1953. It retired in 1986. I have 14 versions. Yes, this logo was that popular. Four in black and white, and the remaining 10 are in colour. The colours and fonts vary across most films.
киностудии «Титанус» представляет. There are definitely more variants of this logo. What do you expect? It was used for 33 years. Some animation would be nice though. I like simplicity and all, but if you're going to use a logo for 33 years, you would want some form of animation. The main track in this logo is heard in every other major Titanos emblem since 1986. Not going to lie, I genuinely thought that the shield was an acorn when I first saw this. I like how Titanos decides to have virtually no animation in their main logo, but they put lots of effort into their 50th anniversary look, which I've seen only on one film. I only discovered this a few days before writing this episode's script. It was seen in 1954. For 1954, it animates quite decently, but the music is too loud and doesn't really match with the main Titanos theme. As far as I know, there was no 100th anniversary logo for Titanos, which is odd because you would expect there to be since it's more important. It's something new to put on the Sergio Ricci though. Their fifth shield was this. It was used from the 1950s to the 1960s. I don't know any film from Titanos from the 50s that contains this logo. Because the company shut down production operations in 1964, I think this logo retired then. It just seems logical. I have a black and white version which has the normal Titanos music. And I have a coloured variant which has some different music. I do like how the background has some thought. It's better than just having a plain coloured background. The CIG Wiki says there's a variant of this logo without the extra text, but I've not seen that yet. The next logo is the only one that doesn't contain a shield. It looks like this. I've called it the City Film Strip, and it was used during the early 80s to the early 90s, although no full date has been confirmed yet. I have two variants. One has delayed music. And one just has the end logo on a black background. Completely off topic here. I like the music and how it animates, but it doesn't correlate to the other logos. This makes it seem like this was a division of the main Titanos company, but the COG Wiki hasn't got any answers. Still, it's a decent logo for its time. Here is their second longest used logo. It was used from 1986 to 2005. I have collected three variations. One has a silver shield. This might be because of deterioration. And the other two variants are shorter. One has the logo zooming out like normal. and one is still.
It was used for 19 years, so it definitely has a certain place in Titanos' history. I think that the Una Producione text would have been better if it had its own little animation. Plus, I don't think this logo held up well when the new millennium arrived. They sort of updated it in 2006, making it look like this. This is the company's seventh shield, and it was only seen in 2006, making the thing kind of pointless. Blue. Having the entire shield the same colour is okay, but it's a bit bland just selecting a few colours. In 2008, Titanos went back to their old roots, and they took the colouring of the 1953 logos and the animation of the 1986 shield and combined them together to make this. It's the Titanos Shield 8, and it was used until 2010. Because Titanus now lives on a much smaller scale, this logo wasn't seen that much. As far as I know, it was seen on like three or four things. By now, the music is getting a bit old. Don't get me wrong, it's a great theme, but it's 66 years old, assuming it was first used in 1953. And in the 21st century, an updated version of it, or something completely brand new, would be good to see. Titanos' current logo looks like this. It's their ninth Shield logo, and it was first seen in 2014. The blurriness of the shield at the beginning is highly noticeable, but it's a good logo for 2014. I like how Titanos added the date they were founded onto this. What worries me though is that logos are getting much simpler, and I feel like Titanos will follow that same path and have something even simpler soon. Titanos could really take it out there and use more CGI and update their music while showing some respect to the original 1953 logo. But because of how quiet Titanos is nowadays, it might not happen, but who knows. That's the end of this episode. I apologise for the wait. For some reason, this took too long to make. I've also been busy collaborating with another YouTuber this week, and the video we have planned is coming out in early August. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to the collaborator's channel in the description. Thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all another time. Goodbye!